Do you ever wonder how attackers actually bypass antivirus, EDRs, those types of tools that security is supposed to be able to detect? Well, the reality is what they do is they run their code, but they run it in memory. The difference in this is that it actually leaves no logs. Now, some blue teamers out there might say that otherwise, right? If you have correct detections, you can leave logs or you can detect behavior. But the reality is if you write in memory, you don't leave any files and there's no nothing changed on the disk. And that's where EDRs and antivirus look um, unless you have behavioral detections. So make sure if you're doing this, you are creating custom detections or your uh, provider is so that you're not just getting detections on the disk or else you're going to miss things. Let me show you an example. This here, I'm just pasting this. It's the code. We'll walk through it real quick. It says we're just going to run the basically the C sharp here. We're going to run it right in memory. You can see we're importing the system. We're going to virtually allocate it. And then here we're running code inside memory. We're just doing a simple hello world script basically right in C sharp but we're running this all in memory. And so when I hit demo run, it says running code inside memory. Now, if I were to open up task process or task manager or any process trees or anything like that, it's just gonna show PowerShell. There's not gonna be any C-sharp process that ran. This is opposed to if you created a C-sharp program and ran it on the disk, it would be much more detectable. So make sure when you're, dete when you're creating your detections, you're keeping this into consideration that Behavior is just as important, if not more important, than simple hashes or um, IOCs.